What are these people afraid of? What are they worried about? I know. So do you. It's the same thing we all fear and wait for. The unexpected. High adventure. Hmm. Looks like Southern California. The land of perpetual sunshine. Only sometimes the sunshine doesn't break through what the natives like to call the low fog. And sometimes the fog is low enough to wash through the city streets in a torrent. To inundate home and car and even a luckless resident or two. And sometimes rain, like faith, moves mountains. Here's the latest bulletin from the State Highway Department. Although the forecast is for clearing weather throughout Southern California, there is continued danger of landslides, particularly in the mountain region. Within the past hour, a series of new slides has occurred in the San Bernardino Mountains above Crestline. All motorists are warned to keep off mountain roads, particularly in the Crestline area. mess down a crest line. I thought the whole mountainside was going to slide right down into the middle of the road. Oh, don't worry, Miss Ryan. Mommy, we know how to get along up here. These mountains always make me nervous. Back home in Ohio, it's flat as flagstone. Smell that good mountain air, Miss Ryan. It should do Tommy a world of good. I don't know, what with all this rain. Now, Tommy, I think you better relax a little. Remember what the doctor said about taking it easy? Oh, gee, you guys got to have some fun. That's why we came up to the lodge. Look as if it rained at all up here. Shh, don't make any noise, Mom. We'll put some food out for him later. Maybe he'll take it from my hand. Let's go in the house and see what we can find. Things into the kitchen. Tommy, you get your coat off. You know where the closet is. My, this is a nice place. You like it up here, Tommy? Yeah. Shall I get Tommy's room ready? Oh, that'll be fine. Thank you, Miss Ryan. It's at the end of the hall, the left door to the left. I'll be upstairs in just a minute, Miss Ryan. Now, Tommy, don't try to do that. You should get some rest. Oh, gee, Mom. Dad always lets me help, aren't you? Well, all right. Yeah, is that enough? Very professional. Just the way Dad does it. Can I light it, Mom, please? All right, but be careful. Let's sit down, partner. It wasn't so bad this time, Mom. I know, but you better have your medicine. Miss Ryan! You just rest here. I'll get it. Okay. Miss Ryan! Miss Ryan!
Miss Bright. Key, Mrs. Barlow? No key for this door? You look funny, Mom. That's why I look when Miss Ryan makes me take my medicine. Miss Ryan, she isn't feeling well. She asked me to get her something. Come on, we're going for a ride right now. Swell. Maybe the girls will ask you comics. Tommy, where's your coat? In there. Where's yours? I don't need mine. It's a shortcut to Mr. Dodd's house. He might have what we need. I thought we were going to the store. I wanted to get some new comics. Oh, come on, Tommy. Darling. I think we're going the wrong direction. It's not much further. Mama, why do we have to walk so fast? Is someone after us? No, of course not. It's just a game. I don't think I like it so much. I guess I'm just tired. All right, darling. We'll just walk. Oh, Tommy. Tommy, please get up. Oh, he never had his medicine. Oh, I need some 
Get away from the horror as fast as you can. Keep it away from the boy as long as you can. Keep going, Mrs. Barlow, or the horror may catch up with you. What do you see? A house. Mr. Dodd's house. That means people and safety. We're safe, darling. Another minute, we'll be there. We'll get you medicine. Mr. Dodd! Mr. Dodd! What is it? What's the matter? You've been going around in a circle, Mrs. Barlow. You're right back where you started. medicine. Get inside before something else gets there ahead of you. Mom, I feel awful. Oh, that's all right, darling. We're home. And now, back to our high adventure. There is nothing so lovely as sunset in the mountains. But not so lovely when you must barricade yourself inside a house with a dead woman. Against the night and the fear and the horror that threatens the life of a sick child. It's all right now, darling. You're going to be fine. Oh, you're all right, darling. Don't try to talk. Just lie back. You're a soldier, sweetheart. You just lie here. I'll go upstairs and get your medicine. No, he's back. The chair's at the window. The lock's on the door. Will nothing stop him? I won't faint. Operator, I want Captain Forrest of the county police. This is an emergency. Hurry. Barlow, my son's nurse. She's been murdered. Yes, yes, Elaine Barlow. There's been a murder. Mrs. Barlow, are you up at the lodge? Please hurry. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mrs. Barlow. Can you hear me? He's listening to us, can't you hear? He's listening to us on the upstairs extension. Mrs. Barlow, can you hear me? Now listen to me, Mrs. Barlow. Get out of that house immediately. We can't. He did something with the car. Tommy's sick. I can't tell him. Oh, you could be almost here by now. Why are we wasting time? We can't get through. The road is closed. Closed? But it can't be. We got it. 
written a chance of our getting through before morning. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Barlow. Why don't you answer? What are you saying? You can't get through. You must. We just can't get there. The earliest we can make it is tomorrow morning. I want to watch you to... Hello? Hello? Captain Forrest! Cut the wire. medicine. Baby, what is it? What happened? I woke up and I saw a bad man standing right there. Oh, bad baby. Yes, then what happened? I guess I started to cry. And then this man, he disappeared, didn't he? He just disappeared? Tommy, I'm sure if we went outside again... Do, that we, we... do we have to go out again? No, darling. We don't. Oh, I almost forgot your medicine. Way past your time. Here. What's the matter, Mom? Nothing, dear. Are you feeling better now? I'll say. I'm hungry. We'll eat soon. What will I do now? How about some radio? Not bad. I want to hear a cowboy for a 
And now, friends, I have a request here for little Nina Vine. For her eighth birthday, we're going to play this tune. <gasps> it's okay, Mom. That happened when we were up here before, remember? Yes. It blows out a fuse, doesn't it? It just needs a new fuse. The box is in the kitchen. I saw how Dad fixed it before. Come on. Oh, Tommy, now, let's not fool with that. It's so cozy here by the fire. Why don't we sit down? Gee, it is cozy. Tell me a story. All right, a story. Oh, boy. Now, let me see. Once upon a time... Not once upon a time. I want to hear a story with cowboys and shooting and stuff. What was that? Is there something out there, Mom? No, of course not. It's just so quiet. Gee, it is quiet. That's why Dad says he likes it up here. Now, on with a story, but don't start out with Once Upon a Time. I want to hear a story with shooting, cowboys and stuff. Well, couldn't the cowboy story start with Once Upon a Time? Dad's stories always start out with In the Days of the Golden West. Oh. Well, back in the days of the Golden West, there lived a little boy. And the little boy's name was... Tommy. Yes, Tommy. And Tommy, like all little boys, wanted to be a cow... to be a cowboy when he grew up. But first, he needed a horse. What was that? Oh, dear Lord. Is that you, Miss Lyon? Let's go see who it is. No, Tommy. No. Are you scared, Mom? Only babies are scared of the dark. Listen, Tommy. That man you saw standing over there. Well, I think he's in the kitchen. But he was just a nightmare. There's no man in the kitchen. That was just a sound. No. Of course there isn't anybody in the kitchen. Nobody at all. Can we go up and see Miss Ryan? No, we can't. Well, then can we tell more about Blackie and Tommy? All right, darling. But let's go over on the couch and you can lie on my lap. Better. Now, where were we? Tom was writing Blackie over the mesa. And then he saw something. Was it rustlers? Yes, rustlers. And they were stealing all of Tommy's cattle. And Tommy knew he had to get to the dam, but he didn't have any time. But Blackie seemed to know this. And he galloped faster than he's ever galloped before. When's the shooting coming in? He really had to be brave now. He jumped off of Blackie and he ran up to the dam. And he tried to open the sluice gates. But he didn't have any strength left. But he twisted and twisted and twisted, and finally the gates flew open and the water flowed out, and the rustlers all ran away. Tommy was very frightened. No, dear Lord. I can never ask this. I mercy my son. Our oh, Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. And... Ah! It's all right, Mrs. Barlow. Everything's all right. We've got him. Captain Thorpe. It's all over now. We took a chance and it's paid off. You took a chance? I had to do it this way, Mrs. Barlow. You see, we knew this fellow. We knew how he operated. Take him down to the car and hold him till I get there. What's he talking about, Mom? I had to tell your mom a fib, son. You see, she asked me to come up here. I told her I couldn't make it because the road was blocked by a landslide. You mean it wasn't? No, ma'am, it wasn't. But I couldn't tell you that. You see, this fellow was listening. And he wouldn't have played cat and mouse with you. He would have, well, we had to gamble that he'd take his time. I didn't even hear you, driver. We left the car down the road so he wouldn't hear. Excuse me. Is this a story, Mom? Sort of a story, son. What kind of a story is it, anyhow? It's not your kind of story. No shooting, 